Now it is my great pleasure to introduce a true giant in the theatrical world, Mr. Buster Keaton. Such a pleasure to have you with us, really. And I understand that you too are going out in summer stock this summer. Is that true? You're appearing in uh, Merton of the Movies? Are you going to talk in Merton of the Movies? In the plays? Do you have a speaking part? I gather you're not going to talk tonight, though. Not going to talk tonight. Well, all right. Do you prefer silent movies to, uh, to uh, talking movies? Do you, would you prefer silent television to talking television? Thanks, the heat. All right, all right. Now, what is your secret for tonight, Buster? Where are you? Oh. <laughs> it's wooden, don't worry. Where are you going? What's your secret? Oh, yeah. Buster, I don't think that that's plain enough. Sit down here and pantomime your secret to me. We'll show it at the same time to the folks out there. All right. What's your secret? <laughs> All right. Panel, we will restrict you to one question each, and inasmuch as Mr. Keaton is not speaking, all of your questions must be in pantomime. We will start with Jane Meadows, please. In pantomime, pantomime your first question, Jane, your first and only question. <laughs> the, the pie? Are oh, you going to eat the pie? Is he going to throw the pie at you? No, no. All right, $20 down. Henry? Oh, is he going to throw the pie at some Indians? Is he... Whatever it is, no. <laughs> Faye? Question mark, are you... you, know, are you is he going to eat the pie and then throw it? <laughs> no, no. Buzz, and we go to Bill Cullen for the last question. Yes, is he going to take the pie? Is he going to hit me with the pie? No, he's not going to hit me with the pie. I'll tell you, we have lost the $80. Buster Keaton is going to judge a pie eating contest. Friend, I would like I would like to introduce the two fearless gladiators who are going to take part in this contest. First from Pittsburgh, Pe <coughs> thank you. <laughs> First time in television. First from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> there is hungry Bill Cullen. Mr. Cullen will have as his second Jane Meadows. His opponent from Washington Heights, New York, is Hungry Henry Morgan. Mr. Morgan's second will be Miss Faye Emerson. All right, now we're all set up for the pie-eating contest, and here are the rules according to the Marquis of Blueberry. The men cannot, the men cannot use their hands. Clasp their hands behind your back. They will be fed the pie by their seconds. Jane must feed the pie to, uh, to Bill. Faye will feed Henry. You will work as teams. The first, the one to eat the most pie in one minute is the winner. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> because he not only ate as much pie, he ate Jane's thumb. Here are the trophies. Buster, it's been a great joy having you with us. I'm glad I wasn't with them. Let's thank Buster Keaton for being with us.
travel arrangements for I've Got a Secret are made through United Airlines. United Airlines flies our contestants and fast new DC-7 mainliners. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Miss Meadows Gown by Page Boy of Lord and Taylor. This is John Cannon speaking. I timed this show tonight with my own sundial, <laughs> and we seem to have 30 seconds left over. But uh, go read a book or something, because it'll probably do you good. And thank you very much for being with us tonight. We will see you next week, and don't forget, next week is when we announce the winners of the I Will Want to Marry, I Want to Marry Henry Morgan Because contest. <laughs>